everybody's staying safe out there. Wash your hands. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're just out and about today picking up a friend's um, power wheelchair that I'm going to do some repairs on. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of expensive to maintain these, so uh, what do we do for friends? Friends take care of friends, right? Right. So, I figured I'd uh, take it upon myself to um, fix these uh, drive motors for this um, power wheelchair that he has, um, because he's bound in a wheelchair at the moment, and, um, you know, save him a few bucks. So I went to go to his place to pick it up. It's on the trailer back behind me. And we're bringing it home now. So I can uh, work on it at my house and uh, figure this out. The new Just got it out of the trailer. Onto the stand. I'm gonna start working on this beast and uh, see if we can get her up and running again. You gotta change these motors. Both of them. So both of those. And uh, matter of taking the wheels off. And then taking all this plastic covers off. And we'll see what we're getting into. Just took the wheel off. And sometimes you get lucky. Ah. A toonie. Nice. We'll take the fender off. From these bolts right here. Or screws. Make sure I put them in my, my tray so I don't lose anything. All right. Now, in order to get the motor off, you're gonna, it's going to drop this way. You have one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Looks like there's a there's a hole for a six one, but there's no bolt there. Anyways, uh, so you can take those off, and the motor will drop. But you also have to take off this little set screw in here. Okay, so right here, where are we? Right there, there's a little set screw. So you take that off. Oh, there's another bolt. There's the fifth, there's a sixth bolt right there. So you just loosen, take those off, and then the motor will drop. And you loosen that off, and that should drop off the shaft. And that's it. Unplug your motor from here. To the controller and that's how you change the motor so the allen key size is a uh, I don't know if you can read that is a five millimeter to get this set screw out uh, the easiest way um, it is a three millimeter allen key okay and the best way to do it is to Take these bolts out, take the first, the front three bolts out, right? Loosen the back ones and then turn the motor like this. Now, super easy to access. See that? While uh, removing the bolts for the plate, for the top plate, the mounting plate right here, 
Um, keep in mind that the bolts are different size length. Um, these are the back bolts, so the inner, inner bolts are that size. And then the outer ones, closer to the axle, are that size. So all three of them back there are short, all three of them up front are long. Just keep that in mind. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, take a note that the shaft has indents in them. So the set screws set in the indents. So this can only go... So when reinstalling um, the mounting, uh, the motor mount bolts, um, make sure that you tighten them all up first before reattaching this, the tension spring, and the brake lever. Okay, so the brake lever should be loose. And that way, you know what, it's a lot easier to get at the bolt heads with this loose you can move it and then you can tighten it back onto the shaft once you're done. The configuration in restalling, reinstalling this uh, uh, motor spring, the tension spring, is the bolt with the washer. <sighs> no dirt. <laughs> um, so that goes on this way. Okay, so that goes on first. Then, you put the spacer in the middle of the bracket, right? So it goes in the middle. Then, you put the bolt through the bracket, and on the back side, you have a washer, and you have a nylon clut. And all are 13 mil or half inch, whatever you prefer. When you install this, make sure not to over tighten because you want some play there, but no play this way. But you want it to be loose this way because that rotates like that. So just keep that in mind. That's why they have a nylon nut on the back side. Um, so that you can tighten it and it will stay tight, but you don't have to over tighten it. The last part of installing this motor is installing the brake lever. So make sure that the brake lever is, as you can see, on the inside configuration instead of on the outside configuration because it has to be pointing this way. If it's pointing on the inside, it might hit the batteries or something like that. So uh, you want the clearance on the inside so that it goes like that. When the brake is up, in up position, that means hub is brake, brake is on, and then Pushing down, pulls the lever in the back position, freeing up the spin. Now, easier access to unplug and plug in the, um, the bottom plugs for the motor right there is to take out the mounting bolts of the controller. There's one there and one on the other side, and then you can pull it out like so, and get to the plugs nice and easy. There's the bolts there. I've already taken them out. And uh, so now it's real simple to work on. All back in one piece, back together. 
She's got a little bit, well, half battery life. I haven't put the front cover on just yet, or the cushions or anything. Oh, we'll see, uh, see how it goes. And it works good. All right. I don't really know how to control this very good, but. <laughs> All right, let's go back up the hill. Yeah, it's good and it's quiet. And the good thing is, it works. Which is better than what it did before. So, there's our parts pile. Our no good motor. And, uh, that wraps it up for the, uh, motor install. Well, I'm hoping that this uh, video uh, is helpful for you. Um, you know, there isn't a lot of videos on online about this uh, as of now. This is 2020. <laughs> Anyways, um, don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.